Welcome back, everyone. We're going through a desert now. So, uh, the desert's quite a long level. Got this weirdo here. Who's gonna do nothing. Oh yeah, at the beginning, I don't know if you saw that shovel that was there, but if you find something in the ground um, that looks like an X, there's another one here, then uh, you can grab your shovel and dig on that spot and you, you get stuff. Sometimes you get a rubber boot or a leather boot or whatever, it's worthless, but there are some cool stuff to dig up. Ow. That'll learn you. Ow. Uh, if those guys grab you, they, um, they bite your face. You have to spin your... Oh, pardon me. You have to spin your guy around in order to get out of it. You can block these guys with your shields. I know that there's a few people that don't know that. Um, uh, they probably make, yeah, make quick work of those guys. Nerds. So we got two here. Alright, I got one. That's good. Really? This guy will only be a couple hits. I've lied to you. It's a little more than a couple. See? That's the boot I was talking about. What is this? Get off my screen. Unbelievable. I don't even use that program anymore. I was just experimenting with it. I don't actually, uh... Yeah, I don't use it at all. Which makes it even worse that it interrupted my gameplay. Oh, here we go. A little, uh... I always thought they looked like Rajput Warriors. Rajput Warriors are... Warriors from India. Northern India, I think, on the border. I'm not sure. If I got that wrong, please don't kill me. Oh wait, you can't. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Hey. Don't avoid my attacks. Accept your death. Alright. Yeah, these scorpions, you don't have to kill them. They're only one hit. They are rather... They're kind of a nuisance at times. All right, level 18, that's nice. Feeling a little better today. I know I said I was sick yesterday. I was lucky I recorded the video when I did, because after I was done, oh my gosh, it was horrible. I ended up being uh, chilling in bed all day. Still posted though, still made videos. It's gotta be done. I don't think I've, I've posted every day on uh, TikTok and Instagram. I do believe for over a year now, every day, every single day, even Christmases. You wanna know why I do that? Because I have valuable information for people that need to survive in this world, and that's what I do. I'm I'm here for you guys to provide such information, and you know, survival and safety doesn't take a day off because danger doesn't take a day off. Finish off these guys. Alright. We move. So we got the uh, alien hominoid guys. They're one hit though, so <laughs> that's why that one died on impact. I'm gonna try and drop that on our heads. Easy. Yeah, yesterday when because I was sick, I ended up. Uh, I've always wanted to um, watch the Punisher, like uh, the Marvel series. I've just never got around to it, and I thought, screw it, I'm not feeling well today. So I watched. I think I got. Hold a second. <sighs> I think I got to episode five. 
I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, it's not it's not like wowing me, but I'm enjoying it. All right, what's going on here? Don't know if you guys ever explored this part, but if you go back this way, it has the game developer characters, which it looks like it's pretty easy for them to make characters. So, uh, Behemoth, you know what? I happen to have magical abilities and am very good with a sword, so I, I, at this point, I don't see why I can't be a DLC character in this game or something, you know? With like an eagle pet that comes with it, and uh, the eagle pet has like special abilities and stuff, right? But uh, we'll, 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 we'll get to that, we'll get to that. That's down the line. Alright. We move. Alright, we got our little alien friends here. Bah! Oh, we blocked that one. Alright, oh gosh! Okay, make quick work of all these guys. Like I said, they're one hit. They don't do a lot of damage. Even on insane, this part's relatively easy. Just because they drop so much, like, even if you get hit, they drop so much food. And then that plus the hawk, just, it's food galore. There's zero excuse for anybody to die on this part. It's a cool little cameo, though, by the, uh, alien hominoid characters. Okay, you're done. You're done. Chop y'all up. Chop y'all up. Oh, great heavens. A lot of coinage over here. Okay. Made quick work of those nerds. Lifting weights on a toilet. I think we've all done that. I think we've all done that. I actually have a pair of adjustable dumbbells next to my uh, next to my toilet. Like I said before in a previous episode, it's where I do my best work. Okay, so I, he's destroyed the uh, controls and is going to blow up the ship. So we need to make our escape, which uh, will be done really quickly. I'm. Uh, I don't want to brag, but I'm kind of an expert on this part. <laughs> uh, whatever. Bah! Easy work. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll, I'll do a video where I like try and break the record for how quick I can get out of here. Looks like we got ourselves a camel friend who spits. Doesn't do a lot of damage. But I'd imagine it's quite degrading. You know what I mean? So. These guys are getting smacked around by a camel. Um, after this, like after I beat this game, I was going to, uh, what the? Oh, okay. He dropped the, he dropped the machete. I don't want the machete. Um, after this game, I'm going to play Pit People, uh, after, good gosh, man, after I finish the playthrough, um, after I finish this playthrough, I'm going to play Pit People, and after that, I'm open to suggestions for games. I will do one scary game, um, just, I, I, I said that I wasn't going to because I, it's just not, I just don't think it'll be entertaining, um... I am gonna. People are still asking. I think they want to see if I'm bluffing or not about not getting scared for video games. So <laughs> I will. Uh, that is something that I will do just to show you guys. But hey, who knows? Maybe um, going against the narrative, right? Of uh, playing scary games and not being scared. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Um, 
maybe going against the narrative is a good thing. And uh, it'll it'll be different to the point that people enjoy it. Who knows? Where do you think you're going? Oh gosh. Um, I do believe this zebra. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I said zebra, not zebra. It is what it is. All right. Um, I do believe that he gets you fruit, gets you food from grass. I think. I think that's what he does. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was mad disrespectful. Okay, rude. You're done. We've got this little, little big, big dude, two big dudes trying to take us out here, but that's okay. It's nothing we can't handle. Easy, light work is what this will be. Oh, nice. We're leveling up. And getting thrown. Leveling up, getting tossed. That's, that's fun. Yeah. A double beheading, great heavens. Well, we made quick work of those guys. And we're moving on. Arrow dudes are one hit. You know, I, I, I was just kind of thinking the mentality of these guys. They've just watched me land on the shore, go through all of their defenses, survive the desert creatures, massacred three big dudes in the room before, and yet these guys are still coming at you. I mean, at what point do you consider the option that, hey, maybe this Grey Knight is so talented and is going to massacre all of us, maybe we shouldn't bother him. But... Obviously, that's uh, that's not what they're thinking. Wow, those guys got absolutely battered. That was mad disrespectful. Wow, Mr. Tornado Man tried it. Ended up getting chucked into next Tuesday. Yeah, you can stop them from doing their tornado magic if you time your uh, time your hits right. Obviously not like that. And I know a lot of you may have noticed I've been walking past these dig spots. There's not really anything of value that I need or anything. So as you can see, I already have that sword. It's a pretty decent sword, but I don't like the look of it. Alright, these guys like spamming their arrow magic, that's for sure. No, 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 you don't get to spam your arrow magic. No, no, okay. Really? You're not the only one that can do that, you know. Mine just are nowhere near as powerful. <laughs> Where y'all head at now? So this is a unique final boss for the desert level. Playing a game of volleyball. I was also, not a lot of people know this, I was a Division One athlete for volleyball. And, uh... There's no way they're even going to get one point on me here, so... The key with this one is you got to follow the shadow of the ball. If you can follow the shadow, then you'll be laughing. You can kind of get some hits in on the guys, too. But yeah, if you follow the shadow, you'll have absolutely no issues with this part. Oh, they're about to get... Oh, 10-0! Absolute obliteration. 
if, if any of you wanted proof that I was a D1 athlete in volleyball, there it is right there. I'm definitely not fibbing at all. Yeah, let's just go sheer power. So, we got our map. We're able to cross the rest of the desert. And that'll land us here. Which is uh, this little nifty place that we can't access until we get a horn. So, that'll be on the next episode. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure going through the desert with you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.